We left all of you some of that, uh, the conch, so you can learn to play, and also some stone crab, one of our favorite regenerative uh, resources here. And this is Gary Graves with the King Fisheries, and uh, with the Keys Fisheries especially. Tell me how we get a king crab leg. Stone crab. Stone, stone crab, crab claws. Exactly, that's what I meant. Stone, 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 stone crab claws are caught in Florida Bay. Mm -hmm. About 40% of the, uh, the landings are caught Break off the keys in Marathon. In Marathon uh -huh. is the biggest port for, for stone crabs. And we left them and back in the studio so you guys can enjoy while we are enjoying. Oh. It looks so fresh, and that's the thing it here. It is. We take a claw, we break it off, they'll regenerate uh, in 12 to 15 months. In their lifetime, we get three to four claws, mm. new claws off a of crab. So I'm going to take a, very, a bite. It's a very green resource. It is. This is our famous mustard sauce. And that sauce. delicious resource. Try a little bit of mustard sauce with it. While we dine, here, where's the napkin? Here. we're going to go ahead and check out my... I had some adventures, oh, thank you. Okay. Some adventures recently. The key is the water is the most important resource, and we're protecting that, too. Check it out. And I'm also... Ah, the Florida Keys, a 125-mile chain of islands erupting with adventure. Five glorious regions protected by the only living coral barrier reef in the lower 48, a reef that's in trouble. They've been hit by hurricanes, pollution. But before we get to the deep stuff, we had one day to do as much as we could in the Florida Keys. And a gorgeous start here in Isla Mirada, the sport fishing capital of the world. What are we going to be doing? Uh, we're going to try to fly some kites. Now you're it's from a... New Jersey? Shh, easy with that stuff. Anchors away. Some people kiteboard, I drag. Uh -oh. And we blame it on the lack of wind. When plan A does not work, we do plan B. And so from kiteboarding, Sailing. This is gonna work, right? I will. Watch your step come right aboard. I'm gonna bring a friend. This is Samantha. She works behind the weather wall with you. Good morning, America! Above the water, spectacular. But below, there are some remarkable changes happening. Ken Niedermeyer noticed a decline in coral reefs around the world. Yeah. Now, he's dedicated his time to bringing them back. In 2002, he started an offshore coral nursery. They grow coral, and with the help of students and volunteers, they transplant it to nearby reefs. We're gonna feed some folks. Closer to land. <laughs> oh, I let him have it, I love that <laughs> Those magnificent waters just begging to be shared. So we end our day paddling with pups in Key Largo. Hopefully, Otis won't be jealous. Nash here, just showing me the ropes. This is the only way to end a perfect day in the Keys. Let's go, Nash. 1,000 pounds of key lime pie right behind me. This is David oh, yeah. Sloan. He has made it. And it, you know the key is known for key lime pie, but what are we dealing with here? How much? Well, we have uh, enough to feed 1,500 people. There's 55 gallons Good. of sweetened condensed milk. Uh, there's 200 pounds of graham crackers. Mm. Over 6,000 key limes went in here. And we are leaving everyone back in New York with a taste of that oh, key yeah. lime pie, they, too. They've, they've got to come to Key West for it. <laughs> we do a key lime festival every year with the Key West Key Lime Pie Company and Chef Distilled, and we make this mammoth bigger every single year. Well, I'm going to get into this. You guys get into yours too. Robin, come down to the keys. <laughs> oh, okay, okay.